And after you win, what is the world going to look like? I'm not going to have a magic wand. No president has a magic wand. It's not like, oh, the week after I get there, you're going to have universal health care. It's not going to be like that. But this is what I, my, my, my basic message to the American people is. We're a big ship and we're headed for the iceberg. If you vote for a neoliberal corporate Democrat, we're still going to hit the iceberg just at a different angle. I say we need to turn around now. But it's a big ship and it has to be turned around wisely and responsibly and carefully. In my four years as president, you're not going to say, wow, she turned that ship. It's completely 180 degrees turned around. No, but you would say she got it around the curve. In four years, she got around the curve. Then she hands it over to a millennial or whomever you choose, a younger person at that point, but you'll be on the trajectory. We're not going to hit the iceberg and this country is going to change. That's a real change. You will, I always say we need a mother in the White House and you can take that however you want it. What it's going to be when I win is you're going to feel that there is a woman who is sitting in the Oval Office every single day, refusing to bend. Know that your president is taking a stand. None of this Mamby Pamby stuff. None of this I'll help you as long as the insurance companies let me. I'll help you as long as the food companies let me. I'll help you as long as the chemical companies let me or the big ag lets me or the pharmaceutical companies let me or the gun manufacturers let me or the, or, or the uh, big oil lets me, or defense contractors let me. I will use the power of the presidency. Republicans too often in the modern era abuse the power of the presidency, but the Democrats are afraid to really use the whole thing because in the final analysis to the corporatists, corporations, 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 you will not have that with me. That's why you need somebody from outside the system to whom, you know, I feel as Roosevelt said, because those same forces that would be vehemently coming at me, vehemently came at Roosevelt. And his response was, I welcome their hatred. He called them economic royalists. We repudiated them in the age of the New Deal, and we need to repudiate them again. And that's what my presidency would look like. Oh, mama's mad, mama's not gonna have that. And that you'd feel it and you'd know it. And I hope that you would be feeling, particularly people your age, more and more inspired to take up that baton of power so that when my four years is over, you're ready to take it from there.